All right, guys, brace for impact. Um, SETI just came out and said they have a almost absolutely confirmed um, radio signal from a distant planet, HD 16495B, located um, just inside the uh, Hercules constellation, star system HD 164595. All the major media are starting to put this out there. The Guardian has an article. Um, MSN has an article. This is a big deal, and everybody thinks this is going to be one of the Hillary releases when she becomes elected as president. So this is a very big deal. Um, I'm going to go right into the details because I found a good couple of pieces which give the scientific proofs, which is kind of what I'm always looking for, but can never actually find. You all know it takes a while for them to confirm everything, and this was first discovered on May 15th of 2015 at 1801-1565 uh, Sidero time at the wavelength of 2.7 Centimeters estimated amplitude signal 750 uh, millijulia, um, whatever the Y is, I apologize. Um, they got a strong directional signal from HD 164595. Um, this came from a Russian Rayton 600 radio telescope in Zala uh, Cheskoskia. In the Charchia Republic of Russia, anyways, with the uh, near the border of Georgia in the Caracas or in Car Caucasus, okay, what, whatever. Anyways, they, they found this um, in Russia using Russian uh, Raiden 600 radio telescope. Um, this confirms. Almost absolutely that this is a Kardashian of type 2 civilization um, in a narrow solar system and it's a, it would be available to a Kardashian of type 1 civilization but they believe this is a type 2 and this is all but absolutely true. Um, here's the radio signal right here, strong signal from HD 164595, raw record of the signal together with the expected shape of the signal for point-like source, position HD 164595, credit goes to Barsov et al. This is a big, big, big deal, folks. Um... Here's the MSN source right here. A Russian radio telescope in the skies observed a strong signal from HD 164595 in the constellation Hercules, which is located scantly 95 light years away, um, with coming from one planet, HD 164595b. That's right, they use the uh, solar system number and then they label the planets A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You guys get the idea. And this is the second um, planet. It's thought to be a Neptune-sized planet with a 40-day year. Um, Seth uh, Shostak, the um, researcher for SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute in Mount View, California, told the Guardian he was shocked and that I'd learned of this discovery, only now reading from the radio telescope Raton 600. Uh, this discovery did take place a year ago, but SETI of Russia supposedly did this. Now I'm just going with what they tell me. All right, so what this basically says is that The Russian Academy of Sciences Raton 600 primary area focus is monitoring the sun 
though it contributes to SETI's work, and it was contributing to SETI's work when they made this discovery. So, this is very big, folks. May 15th of 2015 is when they first got the signal. They've been analyzing it all ever since. I'm going to switch to the Guardian one here. Alien Life. 95 um, light years away. So this is it right here. Basically carbon copy what you just saw. So this is big, folks. Very big, very heavy. Now it doesn't say whether or not they were listening or whether or not the signal was coming in that they were broadcasting to us. I'm not even certain they probably have that data yet. But this is a very big deal, and I very much love the idea that SETI just found life. Uh, thanks to a Russian Raton 600 radio telescope that's usually used to uh, monitor the sun. So, this is a big deal, folks. Thank you. God bless. I know those flat earthers are going, But space isn't real! They're going to come from down below. Well, that might be true. I don't know.